Hello BC team, it is 7.20 and we have 24 hours to make this day count. Let's talk about the worst period of your life. They are already waiting for me to go for a run, so let's go. Okay, I think that we can all agree that the exam period is terrible. I'm starting my exams in three weeks and this is my last exam. This means that if everything goes as planned, I will finish with my university. And this is extremely important for me because I want to go to UK for a PhD in only four months. This means that if I fail to any one of my classes, I will have a problem with my PhD and I don't want to do that. So today I will try to give you some tips and remind myself what exactly to do during exams. Okay guys, I want to talk to you about a platform that I found which is called Template Monster. I know that most of you are engineers, programmers, work with websites or anything in this field. So I'm sure that you know how to work with websites, WordPress, Joomla, Photoshop or anything in this field. The idea is that you can use all these skills in order to create some templates with Template Monster and then make some passive income. You can find more about that in the description below. I have a really big problem when it comes to university and more specifically exams. For some reason, I want to only study for myself. This means that if I need to study for exams in order to get a good grade, my mind shuts off and I can't do anything. Most of the time, I prefer to do anything else. For example, right now, I need to study digital filters from university, but I can't do that. So I stop and start searching and reading for papers in my field. Actually, let me show you. This is what I need to study. And this is the papers that I start reading. And this is the main problem that I need to overcome. By the way, you need to see my procrastination in my green screen right there. So the challenge for today is to find ways to actually study for my university. <clears throat> okay, I'm late, but I'm always late, so this is not so interesting for you guys. Let's see. Right now I have image processing in only 10 minutes and I need about 20 minutes to be there and to find parking. So I will definitely lose the first 10 minutes. And this is an important course because today we will make exercises for the exams. And between you and me, this is the most important part because we actually see how we will pass this course. Okay, let's go to the tips. First of all, it is really important to create a really good schedule. You can use Google Calendar, for example, in order to write your courses, when exactly is this course. And this will give you a general sense on what you need to read every day. But this is too obvious. You need to combine this with other information like how important is the course, how much difficult is this course and at the same time if you have enough material because at least in my university in some courses we don't have enough material to work with so if you combine all this knowledge you need to have a really good sense on what you need to read and when by the way before i go to university i need to tell you that one of the biggest mistakes that everyone makes is to not go to your classes the last one or two weeks most of my friends tell me that I will not go to this course because I need to study or I will not go to that course because I need to work in this project. But this is the most important lectures of the whole semester because they tell you exactly what you need to work with and when and possible questions that will ask you during the exams, which is extremely important. So I think that I have about four minutes before the start of the course and I think that I will be there. Let's see. Okay, my professor was late, so I have five minutes, I guess. Make a daily schedule. Don't just work in one thing for a whole day. Take again your calendar and try to work with more than three things for one day. And be really specific with time. 
Let's go. This was a terrible day right now, it's 12.25, which is way past my bedtime. And I didn't do anything about my exams. I start watching different houses that I can rent with my sister, because in only three months we'll go to UK. So it is really important for us to spend a really good amount of time on housing and what exactly we will do to UK. Tomorrow it will be an even more difficult day because I decide with my fam to really clean my house. Which is difficult and at the same time takes a lot of time, but for now let's go. Okay, I start working from 6 o'clock, cleaning my home and getting everything done right now is 7.45. I'm kind of sick of it already and I have about 4 more hours of work. Okay, I think that I have some results with my home and no results with my exam period. But I think that this video will be really relatable and help you to understand that you are not alone and we all have the same problems. By the way, before I go, if you have assignments during your exam period, for example, I have an image processing and digital filters, try to work with them from the first day. You need to give them from half an hour to two hours, depending on how large is this exercise. Because most of the time, if you don't deal with this problem right now, it will hunt you down in the middle of your exams and it will be even worse. Sometimes you will not have the ability to even finish this assignment, which is terrible. So I will try to create a more uplifting vlog for the next time and I will see you in four days. Don't forget to subscribe in order to join the PBC team and in the meantime we will talk through Instagram stories. As always, keep coding guys! Music